I think that the future of molecular imaging is very bright. Uh, the possibility to look inside the body with the high spatial resolution and to look at uh, the biochemical processes that are uh, related to the onset of the diseases open, uh, I would say, a beautiful scenario in order to fit uh, all the terrific achi achievement uh, that uh, are, have been uh, met uh, by, from biology and from molecular medicine. To some extent, I think we are on the top of an iceberg where the potentiality can be dramatically improved. And uh, of course, uh, looking at uh, small objects uh, like cells, because in principle we always aim to go down to the single cell information. And so the in increase of sensitivity of the imaging probes and the imaging technology are the barrier we have to face on it. Of course, uh, we are already in a very good position and we think that uh, some of uh, the molecular imaging procedure are already uh, ready to be translated to the medical world. But the improvement of sensitivity of the imaging probe, as well as uh, the improvement of the sensitivity of the imaging scanner, are actually the barrier we have to overcome. I think that the uh, main direction we, will, we are putting our efforts are on a one way to get more insight at the metabolic imaging, to know the metabolic processes that occur at cellular level is the way to really see the functioning of cells. On uh, another level, uh, an important direction we are pursuing is deals with uh, the development of theranostic agent. So to allow the clinician to do simultaneously diagnosis and therapy. And then uh, to, in the direction either to improve uh, through the use of imaging, the drug delivery, and therefore to give the clinician the possibility to deposit the amount of drug at the targeting side that is really necessary and to look at the effect of uh, the process of uh, release and possibly the effect of the drug, as well as uh, at another, another level is to support uh, the surgeon to uh, do better his job by using the protocol of molecular imaging.